Hello everyone, today we will examine the top 5 best smartwatches for jump rope counting available this year. In recent years, jumping or skipping rope has gained popularity. There are several advantages to this HIT workout. To name a few benefits, it may increase lung capacity, increase stamina and strength, burn calories, tone your calves, and tighten your core. Jumping rope for 1 minute can often result in a 5 to 10 calorie burn. It can range from 200 to 300 calories in 15 minutes, however it depends on the individual. In comparison to males who ran for 30 minutes, those who skipped rope for 10 minutes every day for 6 weeks had improved cardiovascular efficiency, according to the American Association for Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. You may already be aware of the advantages of jump rope if you are reading this page. So let's get to the point without delay. Jump rope is it tracked by smartwatches? Not all of them, as this workout has not yet been included into popular smartwatches. While others, like those made by Garmin, Apple, and Samsung, rely on third-party apps, smartwatches and fitness trackers from Amazfit and Huawei include a dedicated jump rope mode. I'll talk about the top smartwatches for counting jump rope in this post. So let's get started without further ado. List number 5. Huawei Band 6. Huawei Band 6 is priced as so to compete Xiaomi MI Band and Amazfit Bip U Pro, and like the former has a dedicated mode for jumping rope. It features an AMOLED display, weeks-long battery life, and a host of fitness and health features. Among 96 sports modes on the watch, only a few give comprehensive data, the jump skipping is one of them. The band not only monitors jump counts accurately but also provides training data such as the number of consecutive jumps. This also includes useful metrics like the number of consecutive jumps, heart rate, and calorie consumption. You can set goals on the band, and it would notify you whenever you reach that goal in the middle of the exercise. Though there is an auto-detection function on the band, it only applied to a handful of sports that unsurprisingly doesn't include jumping rope. The fitness tracker has a large real estate to display all the health metrics like heart rate, sleep, stress, respiration, but the companion app is where you get most of the details. Our major gripe is the software limitations. Unlike other brands, Huawei has a hard time syncing data with third-party apps like Strava and NRC. Also, the push notification can sometimes be delayed. List number 4. Galaxy Watch 4. Because the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 runs Wear OS, it can browse the Google Play Store. It's significant since the Galaxy Watch 4 doesn't come with a jumping rope profile built in, instead, third-party applications cover this gap. Yayao Jump Rope is the top app available on both the Apple and Google wearable stores. The software contains a lot of useful functions. Consider the repeat record, which uses the Galaxy Watch 4 speakers to announce the current count every 100 jumps. Additionally, it monitors jump intervals, jump speed, the quantity of consecutive leaps, workout duration, calories burned, and heart rate. It can also sync data with Google Fit without any issues. The only watch featuring a body composition sensor is the Galaxy Watch 4. In actuality, there are no aspects of health that this wristwatch cannot monitor. This watch has it all, including basic heart rate, sleep tracking, advanced blood pressure, and ECG monitoring. Additionally, it tracks your steps and calories burnt, but these days, any $50 watch can do the same thing, so that doesn't make it distinctive. The screen of this watch is prone to scratches, and its battery life is only around 2 days, which is its sole significant flaw. List number 3. Garmin Venue 2. Venue 2 slash 2S costs almost twice as much as Venue SQ, but for that money, you get a sharp AMOLE display, exercise animations, and a little bit more intelligence. The watch also features the most recent Elevate sensor, which allows for more precise tracking of parameters like heart rate. Jump roping is not the only application for Venue 2 slash 2S. The watch was Garmin's first product with built-in hit modes, Tabata, ENOM, AMRAP. Additionally, there is guidance for novices via Garmin Coach and Exercise Animation. Numerous more sports modes are also available. You would need to acquire third-party programs, which may cost you a dollar or two, in order to jump rope, though. The presentation and enhanced training metrics in Venue 2 are primarily what set it apart from Venue SQ. 
The Venue 2 tracks VO2 max, fitness age, body battery, and other metrics, however it does not display training impact, recuperation, or training state. The watch has the ability to store tunes, make contactless payments, and download apps from the Garmin Connect IQ App Store. You won't need to be concerned about charging the watch every day because it has a week-long battery life. List number 2. Amazfit T-Rex Pro. The only smartwatch on this list with a specific jumping rope function is the Amazfit T-Rex Pro. It appears similar to the Garmin Phoenix series, but due to its capabilities, it functions more like a fitness tracker than a tough watch for outdoor activities. Although the touchscreen AMOLED display is a wonderful innovation, we were ecstatic to see that it had the traditional four physical navigation keys. When your hands are sweaty from activity and the touchscreen is difficult to use, it is very helpful. And those who routinely jump rope are well aware that it causes them to perspire heavily. As you can see, the watch offers a ton of fun functions while you are in jumping rope mode. Goals include time, calories burned, and jump count. Unexpectedly, TREX Pro also offers a function called training effect that essentially lets you see how training affects your aerobic or anaerobic energy system. This degree of detail has previously been seen on premium Garmin watches. List number 1. Xiaomi Mi Band 6. The most affordable fitness tracker available right now that you can purchase to keep careful track of your jumping rope activities is the Xiaomi Mi Band 6. You'll be astonished by the amount of data the gadget can provide, not to mention that it includes a mode just for skipping ropes. Band 6 goes above and beyond the standard parameters like time, total leaps, and frequency to measure your training effect, aerobic and anaerobic, heart rate zone, calories burnt, and VO2 max. Although the count may be somewhat inaccurate, it still provides you a decent indication of the workout as a whole. The fitness tracker has roughly 30 settings to choose from, some of which are GPS-enabled, and it undoubtedly covers all aspects of health tracking rather effectively. Without needing to often charge the gadget, you may monitor your heart rate, sleep, stress, breathing, and blood oxygen levels. If you don't want to spend extra money on daily jump rope exercise, the Mi Band 6 is a good investment. It has advanced health tracking, long battery life, and GPS tracking that are often only seen in pricey Fitbit or Garmin watches. Huawei Band 6, Amazfit T-Rex Pro, and Xiaomi Band 6 can all accurately calculate rope jumping. We would pick the Xiaomi Band 6 out of these three because it is not only affordable but also synchronizes data with third-party applications like Strava and Google Fit. Only if you detest fitness trackers and value durability above all other aspects would we advise you to choose the T-Rex Pro. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time see you guys later.